What's up, AK family? Today we are here at Walt Disney World. Yes, we're about to get on the skyline so that we can get over to Epcot and we can start our adventure today. We need to get in line so we can get on this skyline and get over to the park. We're yes. super excited because we were able to get a digital cue for... Oh, let me hype up my man right quick that you did. <laughs> you did that. So we got the virtual cue for the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. And we were able to do it and we got a excited. really good number too, y'all. Yeah. My phone did not work at all. If it wasn't for Aaron, we would not have mm -hmm. a pass. They sold out in less than a minute. So shout out to you, Aaron. You shout did that at seven o'clock this morning. He has lots of energy this morning. I love this. So just to let you all know, today is the second day of the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot. So we are very excited. Look at the gorgeous Skyliner this morning. Off the first Skyliner, headed to the second. So just so y'all know, you do have to get off and there's like a hub where you go in your different directions. So now we are getting on the second one. So it's 7.37 and the park doesn't open, I think, until 8.30. 8.30. But because we stay at a resort at Pop Century, we have early admission. And I think all resorts on yeah. the Disney property, you have early admission to the park. So yeah. um, that's a plus for everybody that is trying to plan a trip to Disneyland. Instead of staying off campus, if you stay on campus, you have early admission to the parks. We got our, whoa! That, that takeoff and the landing, this is our first that ride of a, the day. That was exhilarating for you. I loved it. Uh -oh. If you know, you know. Welcome aboard, Islanders. Look at the Hold on to your straw hats. We are about to enter the heart of the Caribbean. This is the best ride because it's more scenic. Joy, hope, and friendship. Welcome. <laughs> she did that. <laughs> she did that. Welcome to Epcot, everybody. Looks so beautiful. We made it. Just got off the Skyliner. Aaron is over here using the restroom, and then we are going to head into the park. The time is 7.51. The park opens for resort guests at 8 o'clock, and then the park opens for everyone at 8.30. So we are going to take good advantage of the park being open. Early entry. Here we go. We, we, we are on our oh, way to Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, you say we walk up. <laughs> no, we walk up. Oh, <laughs> you say um, we we hon hon baguette. Oh, oh you say um, je m'appelle ratatouille like that. Oh, you say tumutu tumutus. It's not giving. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> y'all. We are in France. And I can already see all the booths for Food and Wine Guys, Festival. Last time we were here, they were still building. Yeah, Ratatouille wasn't open yet. In 2020. So we're excited to see what Ratatouille has to offer. This area is so beautiful. Look at the Gusto sign. This is so cool. Aaron, this is giving you a little taste of what's to come, maybe? Oh, you say France? In the future. How cute. Look at the little rat car. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, the food is for them, not you. Oh, you say French? Yeah. Bonjour et bienvenue, chez l'ami. A bientôt et bon appétit. We just got off of Ratatouille. It was much like Mickey and Minnie's Railway. It was like a trackless ride. Um, it was fun. It was cute. It was fun. I don't know. I would say it's a must do. If you miss it, it's going to be all right. Right, right, right. So right now we're headed over to Soren. Uh, hopefully we can get it before the park opens in a minute. Guess what? We got a call back time for Guardians. Okay. 924, Aaron. 924. You did that. So we're early in the morning. When we came to Disney in 2020, we came opening week mm -hmm. after it closed. And you guys, it was just like this all day. Now for reference, the time is like 
29. The park opens to everyone in like a minute, but you guys, the park was like this all day long. It was amazing. We walked on, didn't we walk on to like every single ride? Mm -hmm. We didn't wait for anything. Living with the land. I actually don't, I was just about to say, I don't know the last time I've been over here. today but we're like we're here we might as well just do it and the wait was like five minutes yeah we walked on to it and i'm sorry that is a cool ride like mm -hmm. if you want to see plants and learn about agriculture and all that i thought that ride was so cool just to see i've never seen how certain plants grow and i feel like that's shameful but now it's time for guardians all right, so we are walking towards Guardians, which is right there. And this is the Connections Cafe. This area is actually brand new and it is busy in there. The Starbucks line is very long. I would love a coffee, but that line is too long. Look at that. Look at that. So excited. Oh, I hope this ride is good. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment. One which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. Citizens of Epcot, does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on. Someone needs to tell me what I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Tal Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. <laughs> I am who? The cross is real. Yeah, who do you think took it? Perhaps that really big man outside your ship. Oh, that is a big man. I need to alert Nova Prime. I will be watching Terrans for the arms. Guardians of the Galaxy. It was, what do you think? It was really cool. I heard a lot of people saying that it was the best ride at Walt Disney World right now. And I would have to agree. We concur. Yeah. It was really good. It was it was like Space Mountain on steroids. Like it was really It good. was so cool. It wasn't just a roller coaster track, but the vehicle is actually moving with the ride. Right now, we got to get some food. So we are going to go to start tasting the nations, I yes, guess. Yes, we are going to start getting into the Food and Wine Festival. Time is 1020. 
I'm not sure if the booths are open yet, but we'll go see because we're ready to start eating. All right. Y'all, they have these gold statues all throughout the parks for the 50th anniversary. There's one right there. Look at this cute one with Olaf and Pascal. Oh, too cute. We have Rocket and Groot over here. And then there is Miguel and Shu. What's that dog name? I don't know. Oh my God, Minnie. Minnie. Our first booth of the day is going to be India. Very excited. It's right next to the China Pavilion, which is so beautiful. Asian territory that's where this is we just hit our first cart which is the Indian cart and we got a couple of items and I'm going to show you what we got so we got the chicken tikka masala this is for me obviously because Aaron doesn't eat meat and then we got the samosas they are potato and pea samosas so so these are for me yeah they're for you we're going to so many places I got this for you and this for me all for me it's all for you you're so annoying. Mm -hmm. All right, let me take a bite of this chicken tikka. And it does have rice underneath mm -hmm. with naan. This is a big portion, honestly. It's good. Oh, it's so good. The only other samosas that we have to compare it to are on all the Disney cruises we do, we always get the samosa. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That looks good. How is it? Real good. Yum. We're off to a great start for Would food like and wine. It? I'm being very nice. You're so nice. I would love to, darling. All right. We are on to the next. We are just taking it easy here in Epcot. We are in Germany right now. And we're really going to actually take the time this trip to enjoy each country. Because I feel like whenever we come here, we're always rushing. And today, we just don't have a reason to rush. We are now in Italy. How gorgeous. This area is beautiful and I have actually never been inside of this area, which is a shame. Comment down below if you have been to Italy before. Does this make you think of the real Italy? Just finished walking around Japan. The area is quite nice. Uh, we are obsessed with Asian culture, India, China, Japan. Right now we're going to find what, a restroom now or we're going to look at more food? We're looking for more food. More food. A lot of places we can't go because they either have shellfish or most of the items on the um, menu are meat. Yeah, so I was telling Aaron earlier, my one critique for the Food and Wine Festival, at least for this year, is that I really do think they should have a vegetarian option at every single booth. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's too much to ask for. Like, do you think that's too much to ask for? I think for? it would be nice. It will be more um, I mean, applicable it's vegetables. to everybody. Yeah. I think it's more inclusive for people that have dietary restrictions. I see a lot of stuff that's gluten-free and stuff like that, which is great. I would love to, and there are some plant-based options, but there, it's not enough. Buttery, flaky crust. Okay. Who knows what that's Tell right. the people what you got. Buttery, okay, we got the, um, we got the spare of It's supposed to have spinach, spinach and cheese. Jeez. On the inside, I can't really think. Um, so I'm about to try it. It has a buttery, buttery, flaky crust. And this is from the Greece Pavilion. So I know it's about to be good. Not bad at all. We walked right past the Greece booth and we're kind of in Morocco now, but we stopped here at Oasis Sweets and Sips to get a tasty drink. A citrus and pomegranate, and pomegranate slushy. It's tart. I hope so. I love a tart drink. It's ultra tart. I love a tart, like a tart lemonade, limeade. Mmm. 
This is really good. Mm -hmm. And you can get this alcoholic or non-alcoholic. I just learned that they have like a little scavenger hunt for the Remy's. I don't know if you can see it right there in that corner right there where my finger is. There are little Remy's all over. You can go around the Food and Wine Festival and find where the Remy's are. And I guess you get a prize if you find all of where the Remy's are or something like that. That's cool. I don't know if that's it's unique to this. For the kids. Yeah, it's something fun yeah. for the kids. I don't know if it's unique to this Food and Wine Festival, but um, there's an activity for the kids. If you're coming as an adult, and you don't know if your kids are going to have uh, something to do. There's definitely something to do for them. We have just gone to our next booth and it was Brazil. I was trying to find the Brazil menu in here so I could read what this is because I don't know the exact name, but it is Brazilian cheese bread and I am gonna taste it. Let's see how it is. In my mind, I thought it was gonna be less cheese. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of cheese. Oh yeah, you can keep that then. It's a lot of cheese. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> but That's... I actually don't want it. This. This, this cheese was dough around it. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be, the, the ratio of cheese to bread yeah. was gonna be different. Yeah. How de queijo, I said that wrong. Mm, no, I don't know about this one, but it does taste good. So we are in Canada and we came to the back of Canada. I had no clue that all this was back here. Look at this waterfall. So we came to go to Appleseed Orchard because there is a drink that we want to try. Okay, we had no idea that this was here. Not at all. I had no clue that all this was in here. Cool. So we got the frozen apple pie. Oh, we might have found something. That's really good. We might have found something. Let me show you guys the top. So you see there's a crumble on top. That's so cool. As we make our way out of Epcot, there is a spot over here called Earth Eats that has impossible burgers and meatballs. We are not gonna get any because we're just, we need more space in our stomach for the other park. So on our way out, we're passing Journey into Imagination with Figment. And we've never been on this. So we said, well, why not? Let's just go ahead and ride it. It says it's a 15 minute wait. Let's check it out. Look who is over here hiding. Pooh. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. With just one spark, the imagination. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Listen, we just got off of the figment ride. I love it. It can be likened to It's a Small World After all. Yeah, so the song, it's stuck in my head already. Goodness, and it's a cute song, I guess, whatever, but it's stuck in my head. But now I understand, you know, about figment. I love him. He's a little menace, but he's cute. And I loved it. So I'm glad that we did that. And it was so cold in there and it was just nice to sit down. So it was good and we practically walked onto the ride. Y'all, we have officially left Epcot. What a great day. We had some good food, some tasty drinks. Oh look, there's the monorail. And now we're headed to Magic Kingdom. Okay. I have a funny story to tell you all. So we left Epcot, right? We got on the monorail. Aaron, be quiet. We got on the monorail to come to Magic Kingdom. I didn't realize you had to get off of that monorail and get on another monorail to get to the park. I'm thinking, no, this was gonna take us straight to the park. It didn't, and we stayed on. And Aaron asked. And Aaron did ask, and I said, no, this is good, we're good. That thing said, next stop, Epcot. We said, well, wait just a minute. So we had to ride all the way back again. But it was fine because we needed the AC and just to sit down. Now, we are here taking the boat to Magic Kingdom. It is a busy day here at Magic Kingdom. But the parade, the big parade of the day is getting ready to start here in about 30 minutes. So I think we might try to get something to eat really quick and then find a spot before the parade starts. So hot. It's hot. It's quite hot. Yeah. But the parade's about to start. We got a good spot. It's starting. Welcome to Magic Kingdom. 
for the world's most magical celebration. You are warmly invited to join Mickey Mouse and his Fantasyland friends for an enchanting celebration in the streets. What's up guys? We just finished the parade. You guys, we waited a long time. Yeah. It was supposed to start at 3, it didn't start till 310, but that's okay. Like it wasn't I'm disappointing. Not complaining. It was yeah. just hot, y'all. It's really hot. Yeah. It's in the middle of July. Mm -hmm. It's the hottest that it can be when you come to Disney. Right, right, so, right, right. So I mean, you gotta be prepared for it. You really do. Cause it's a different kind of heat. Right, right, right. So now we have moved away from where the castle is and we're trying to get some dough whip. Hi family, we just got to the dough whip section, but you can see the line is crazy. So what we're gonna try and do and attempt to do right now is see if we can get a mobile order through so we don't have to wait in the line. Exactly. Yeah. Shout out to Justin, Kiani. And Sydney. And Sydney, who we just met, they were so nice. Justin and Aaron. Both had towels on their head. I'll insert the picture. They were looking alike. Those were some cool people, weren't they? Right. Yeah, it was so nice to meet you guys. If you watch this, but it's time for some dough whip. Okay, so let me get on the phone. Kyra comes being gifts. All right, come on. There you go. I got a float this time. Mm -hmm. And Aaron got raspberry. Raspberry. Last ride of the day. The people mover, ready for some romance. Uh, this is supposed to be romantic. Romance. <laughs> Look at all the people. Thank you. It's a busy day. Love this view from up here though. There's Tron coming soon. I'm not sure of when. If anybody knows, please put it in the comments, but they are working. On it. Ooh, Space Mountain. Okay, well, this is terrifying. It makes me not want to ride Space Mountain. All right, everyone, it is time for us to leave Our Disney. It's coming to a close. It's coming to a close. It is so hot. It's time to go home. It's time to go home. Winnie the Pooh and his friends. Yes, they're right I'll here. Goodbye. I'll show you. Look at how cute Eeyore is. Oh. They're adorable. Goodbye. Next time, join us as we board the Carnival Mardi Gras for our first group cruise with Melanin at Sea. You don't want to miss it.